put me in solitary confinement. And there's a new rule now where you can't even be in solitary confinement for more than two months out of the year. But I was there before that rule when you can be in the box for 500 days and never get out and you only get a shower for 10 minutes and then you back inside the, and then wreck. If it's the winter, it's freezing. But even when you go outside, you're in the cage. Like, you don't get to walk around, you're just in a cage. It makes you erratic, like, that's why I'm so nervous to talk to people because I don't know what I'm going to say. I was, I would ask him if I slept. <laughs> I was up all night, like, worried about how I would sound or, you know, because I don't really talk to people. And it, I tell, I, when I was there, I told them, um, I get angry so fast and I, and I don't know how to, like, try to get around stuff because I didn't interact with people the whole time I was an adolescent. I, was, I had one fight and never got out the box. <laughs> Kids fight, you know? Kids fight and then you get yelled at or whatever, but you, you don't get put in a, in a box for a long period of time. You just don't never get out. Like, that just messed up my whole life. Like After that, and I heard a lot of people like, that I, I was with them in the box too, like all that time. They, they, there's something wrong with them, you know? Like, I can tell, they've changed, I can see it. We can't even be friends because I can tell like it's something wrong. I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's something wrong, like they're not the same. And I always blamed it on, on Rikers. <laughs> I always blamed it on Rikers. So it was just a complete nightmare. They put me in a cell, and I, and I kid you not, it was one. It was covered in feces, dried feces. And I mean, they, why wouldn't they clean that up before they put somebody in it? I mean, there were garbage and papers and food all over the floor. The cell, the, the uh, mattress in it was 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 urine stained and just filthy. How could you put the put a human being in a situation like that? I sat on the floor by the gates, right, and day after day. And all I did was push a little tray in. And I didn't see anybody for like maybe three days because it was a weekend. I didn't see anybody. So, I mean, so to add to depression, um, add, add a, an abundance of anger um, and hopelessness, and I still wouldn't talk. So um, they just kept sliding the food. And um, there was no real like ventilation or light, but I remember there was a little window and it was so crusted with dust and dirt that you could barely tell it was day and night. But and I was in solitary confinement for three months in that condition in the hot heat of the summer where I had to just I had to take all my clothes off. The heat was unbearable. There was no ventilation. I remember this big feeling that this is the way I was going to die. I was going to suffocate in this cell. I remember getting on the floor, completely nude, throwing what little water I had from the toilet because the seat didn't work on my body, right, to cool myself off from the toilet. And um, I laid on the floor and tried to, in that condition, to get a little bit of air under that much of a crack under the door just to get some air. And I lay like that all day because the air inside the place was just un 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 unbreathable. Um, I found out that that year people died from that, in that condition, and it's still happening. It happened recently. A person over, um, overheated in one of those cells and died recently. So man, it was a uh, uh, at the time I just thought it was me, but since I didn't have anybody to talk to, nobody to rate it, I just thought, wow, this is how I'm gonna die. Yeah, I went to the box for 30 days for breaking the girl's nose. Being in that box in Rikers Island fucked me up. And when I say it fucked me up, I couldn't sleep. It's like I was seeing things. It's more like fucking garbage. It's horrible. You know, 
for the first time in my life, I smelled death. 